Hi folks, I've got several requests for Are You Gonna Go My Way by Lenny Kravitz. Uh, this song I'm gonna do in two videos, possibly three, depends on how long it takes to break down the solo. Um, but uh, I think one video should do the rhythm part, so that's what we'll do here. We'll call this part one. And we're gonna do the rhythm right up to and including the rhythm during the solo. So um, here's your E note. And as you can hear, I've got a bit of modulation on there for the uh, for the sound of this song, so we'll take that off just for now, just to give you the E note again. And those of you who have tuners, that's just standard E, so shouldn't be too difficult to get that. Then, uh, like I said, here's the kind of modulation you're looking for. So, the beginning of the song, the song's an E, and the beginning of the song starts with a bend, release, hammer, uh, pull, sorry, and then a hammer. So a bend, release, pull, and hammer. Bend on second fret of the G string. Okay, second fret of the G, bend it. Release. Pull it off to G open. Then hammer on second fret of the D. Then you're going to hit two D opens, and then one on the second fret. So again, it's bend, release, pull, hammer, D, D, E. Now that's going to take some doing if you're not used to doing that sort of thing. So just keep uh, a handle on that because it's really important you get that right because the that's the meat and potatoes of this song. So here it is again. Second fret of the G. Release to second. Pull to open. Second on D, and then two Ds, and then E, second fret of the D string. Okay, then there is also another part where he goes. And now all that is is third fret on the B and the E played together. Okay, you have to listen to the song to see where exactly he's doing that, but I think it's every second time. Okay. 
Okay. Now, there is a doubling guitar that uh, follows what he's doing here. So if you wanted to, you could just stay down here and do the whole thing. But I'm basically arranging this thing for one guitar. So I go through that uh, beginning part four times. And then I go all the way up to 12th position. Your pentatonic scale. So those of you who know that, you're going to anchor on the 12th. Those of you who don't know that, you're going to be using your third finger on the 14th of the G. And you're going to be bending, releasing, and then pulling to the 12th. And then doing your hammer on on the 14th of the D. Essentially, it's just an octave of this. Okay. And instead of open, open, second, you're going to go 12, 12, 14. Okay, so that is more or less what's happening with that. Then when it does the chord change, now again, this is something that you can uh, pick and choose. I like to go up to the uh, 15th position, but you can do this on the third position, a pentatonic scale. And again, it's just the same run. So if we're anchored on three, then the first note's going to be on five. <laughs> Now, I like to do it on 15th up here, same thing. So, anchored on 15, that means your first note is on 17. And all that is two notes on uh, 17th. This is all in the D string. So, two notes on 17, two notes on 15. Two notes on 14, and two notes on 15 again. And then ending up on the 17th of the D. Now if you do it in this position, again, we're just an octave down from here, so, and octaves are 12 frets, so just take uh, 15 and minus 12 and you get 3. So here's your 15th position, you're anchoring, and you're going... 15 minus 12 is 3, so anchor on 3. Okay. Then it goes back to the beginning again. Now, there's lots of ways you can play these next chords. This is the easiest way I've found. Um, essentially, and we've talked a lot about this, this is an F, slide it up two, and then raise that finger up. So this is kind of an F major seven up two frets. So your E is open, your B is on third, G is on four, D is on five. Okay. And then you're gonna go to kind of a D chord over F sharp. So again, your E is open. Your D or B string is on third fret. G string is on second. And D string is on four. So again, the first one is this. Okay. Now, this chord here that you started with, you're going to use that now in a different position. So here it is again, these two chords. Now, take that first chord and go all the way up so that your first finger is on the 12th. And you're going to take this chord and you're going to go... So it's... So two hits on the 12, one on the 10, one on the 12, two hits on the 12, one on the 15, and back to 12. Okay, then the same chord you did before. And then this next one is an F sharp minor seven. So what I'm doing here is I'm barring straight across the second fret of the first second, third, and fourth strings, 
and then I'm reaching over the top with my second finger and I'm picking off the second fret of the low E and because my finger is reaching the way it is, it's also killing the A string, okay? So it goes. And the first time you do that, you go right back into it. So it's, it's basically a four count. Two, three, four. Again, you can go. Okay, and it's just the same as before, so that's not a problem. So you go through that whole thing, and then you go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is. Same chords that you did before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're gonna bar straight across. Now you can do a full E if you want. On the video, I'm just doing this, which is just barring the D, G, and the B. Gives you that. Or you can just play an E chord. And then down to a D. D again. Now that again is that this time we are barring across the first string and that's that chord again here but this time we're barring it so fifth fifth six and seven okay so in context that first one is an e so first finger is on the seventh fret of the a string and you're barring straight across the nine of the d g and B. So that's your typical bar chord of an E, seventh fret of the A string, and then nine of the D, G, and B. Slide the whole thing down two frets. Again. Then you're going to go to an, uh, what looks like an F again, on but we're starting on the fifth. So five, five, six, and seven. And all I'm doing is I'm taking my baby finger and tucking it in underneath there for that extra note. And that's on the seventh of the G. And then I'm pulling off to get the note that's already being fingered for that chord on the sixth of the G. And you can hear there's a lot of deadening strings here kind of a chopping feel that you're getting for that uh, rhythm so it's it's essentially this I'll do it slow and then you can uh, you know practice that quite a bit but uh, essentially that is the lead up to the solo and also through the solo. Now at the very end, um, when you're doing this uh, uh, chord change here, okay, that's that G, type of G and type of D, it does this. Okay, I'll go that through that again. Like that. So, right up to the solo, that is all you need, and as well as the ending. And again, the ending follows that same chord progression and then just ends on the F sharp minor. Have fun with that.